go, what is up everybody? I am Mami Yoshiko, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, Mother Freak, cause I'm a butler today, son. As y'all see, I am rocking Dame Barbados. I got my freaking attire on. I got my nails did. I freaking got green contacts this time. Y'all have been waiting for this long enough. Here is the next edition of my Obey Me Cafe series. The side characters. We got the angels, the human, and more demons. And if you stay until the end, you might get some secret drinks. So keep watching till the end of the video, okay? But yeah, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Lego. Also, Please do not bully me or make fun of me for my mispronunciation of these names. I looked up the pronunciations ahead of time. If I forget or butcher, apologies in advance. First drink we got is for Solomon. Is that Solomon? Is that right? Like I said, please don't make fun of me. And for his drink, I wanted to attempt to create the oh so delicious, the oh so scrum dilly -umptious. The unidentified matter. I had a really hard time like trying to figure out how to do this because I wanted it one to taste decent and two to be like doable to recreate and also I wanted madness in this drink but I was like how am I supposed to make edible madness? To just throw a shiz ton of grape flavored all of it grape. So that's what we gon do. So for Solomon's drink you will need grape energy drink, grape Gatorade, grape soda, grape Kool-Aid, mixed berries. You will only need the blueberries but you know what, that was the only one I had and I didn't feel like going to the store again. And I went to Joann's and I found the perfect molds, the dog bones and mermaid tails, which we will need to create little toppings on our identified matter, which will be made out of chocolate. And you will need white and teal melted chocolate. Also ignore the fondant, it didn't work, you will see. And some green nerds. First step you will need to recreate the unidentified matter is first we are going to make our bone and mermaid tail chocolate. Get out your molds and melt your white chocolate and then when it is melted, pour it into your bone mold and put it in the fridge for it to harden. And now it is time to make our mermaid tails. At first I wanted to use fondant, but I did not think that the fondant was going to like stick to the inside of the mold, so I had to scrap that. And the next idea I had wasn't really that much better. I took my white chocolate melts and I put food coloring in it. I put teal food coloring in it. And I knew this, when you put shit inside the white melted chocolate, it hardens, it thickens real quick. But you can add some vegetable shortening and it will take care of that. But you know what? I was too lazy and a hoe didn't have patience. So I just freaking stirred it to like make it teal and like just do the thing as much as I could and I just shoved it in the mold. Like I don't got time for this. I freaking shoved the hardening melted chocolate into the mold and shoved it in the freezer and just hoped for the best. And now it is time to cause some havoc and get out your blender. I literally just started throwing all of the shit in it. But for some rough measurements, I used about a quarter cup of everything. Quarter cup of grape Gatorade, grape energy drink, grape soda, and a sprinkle of grape Kool-Aid. And also drop some blueberries in there and lightly mix it up in your blender. And I found this cute, adorable yellow mini Dutch oven on Amazon, link below. Oh, it is like so small and so cute. Next, pour in your grape concoction and fill it all the way to the top of the pot. And yes, there is a lot of ice in there because everything kept sinking. But you know what? It's fine. Place your white chocolate bone to the right, put a strawberry to the left, and your teal mermaid tail in the back. Sprinkle some green nerds right in the front in the center. And boom, you got Solomon's unidentified matter. Enjoy the chaos. And next is my favorite boy. I would wifey this man up so quick, give me my freaking angel. Samuel, I love him. And like I said, please don't make fun of how I say his name. I don't know, is it, is it Simeon or Simeon? I don't, like Pokemon? And for his drink, we are going to be making his favorite drink, the Paradise Blue. And for Paradise Blue, I took inspiration from the cocktail that is known as the Blue Hawaii. So to recreate the Paradise Blue, you will need Sprite, pineapple juice, blue curacao syrup, sweet and sour mix, and simple syrup. For a little pizzazz, as well as of course to match the image, I got a red hibiscus flower and a lemon. To make Paradise Blue, first you will pour one cup of Sprite into a glass, then add two teaspoons of blue curacao syrup, two teaspoons of sweet and sour mix, one teaspoon of simple syrup, two tablespoons of pineapple juice. Get out your lemon and cut out a wedge and put it on the rim of your glass. Fill your glass with ice and pour in your mixture. Next, add a straw. Add your hibiscus flower and boom, you got Obami's Paradise Blue drink. And not gonna lie, I'm actually really proud about this drink. It is one delicious and I think it looks pretty accurate. Like obviously not like 100% perfect. 
perfect, but I think I did a pretty good job. I think, maybe. And next, we got baby, 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 baby boy, Luke, our last angel. So when I was trying to think of like a drink for Luke, I looked at his favorite food, which is Barbados' signature cake. So I decided, why not do an angel food cake milkshake? So that's what we doing for our precious baby boy. And for his drink, you will need milk, white frosting, an assortment of sprinkles I try to keep in the color scheme of like gold and blue and white, a slice of vanilla or angel food cake, vanilla extract, almond extract, powdered sugar, and more sprinkles, regular sugar, and whipped cream. And now to make Luke's angel food cake milkshake. Lego. First step is you're gonna wanna put one cup of milk into a blender, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So what I did not know about the almond extract is that it is very, very strong. Like the smell is pungent and not gonna lie, it kinda killed it for me. So just add like half or a quarter of a teaspoon, like very, very little. Or you can skip the whole almond extract altogether. Add two tablespoons of powdered sugar, add one tablespoon of regular granulated sugar, one cup of vanilla ice cream, and add half a slice of your angel food cake. And now it is time for the fun part. First, you are gonna get a bowl. Pour your assortment of sprinkles into that bowl. Get a milkshake glass or whatever glass you just have, and you're gonna smush it, and you're gonna smush or jam it into the frosting jar to get the frosting on the rim of the milkshake glass. If you want, you can just put the frosting in a bowl and like do it that way, but I was too lazy, so like just dunk a room. Dunk the milkshake glass into the frosting just to get enough frosting around the rim of the glass. Next, you are going to dunk it into the sprinkles bowl. Make sure to coat around there, coat the rim all over to cover all of the frosting. And voila, ain't it so pretty? And yo, it made such a big mess. Like my floor was covered in sprinkles by the end of this, but you know what? The glass was pretty, so who cares? Now you are going to put the milkshake glass in the fridge just for the frosting to harden a bit. After your rim is hardened, pour in your milkshake into the glass, put some whipped cream on top, and just make it rain sprinkles. I did a mixture of blue and gold just to keep the color scheme to match our precious baby angel. Add a straw, put a piece of cake on top, and boom, you got Luke's angel food cake milkshake, which is probably one of my favorites of this video, one of my favorites. It's adorable, it is sweet, it is delicious. Like, and I don't know, I just think it's really dang cute. Like, I'm happy how it looked. TBH, I had a lot of non-bartenders block in this video. And thanks to one of my lovely Instagram babies, Rin, they sent me screenshots of one of Barbados' card chats, but thank you so much to Rin, because now I have the perfect idea for Diavolo. And said by Barbados himself, Diavolo's favorite is Hellfire Rose Tea. However, as someone who does not consume very many spicy things, I am a non-spicy person. Like I mentioned before, Panda Express orange chicken is too spicy for me, hunty. As I was doing research, I found from Lucifer's Melancholy Devil Graham that Diavolo likes Hellfire Mushroom Rolled Cigar Cookies. However, because I wanted this to go along with tea better, I decided to make a little more sweeter version. So for Diavolo, we are going to be making cinnamon rose tea and cigar cookies. For Diavolo's Hellfire Cinnamon Rose Tea, you will need rose petals, cinnamon sticks, or if you don't have access to any of these, feel free to use the tea bags. I got this freaking chili chocolate. Like, if you want to use this for the freaking cigar cookies, go right ahead, but I'm a hoe ain't because a hoe is a wimp. Sugar cubes, simple syrup, or any sweetener of your choosing. And now, to make the cigar cookies, I used a recipe from savingdesserts.com. I will link them below. And TBH, this was way too hard for me. You gonna see why? To make the cigar cookies, you will need all-purpose flour, cornstarch, butter, salt, powdered sugar, eggs, vanilla extract, and chocolate melts and nuts are optional. For the tea, first you are going to get a pot and put one to two cups of water. Add your rose petals, put a lid on it, and bring it to a boil. Keep an eye on it. At first the water will turn blue and this is normal. The pigments are just coming out of the rose petals. Just put the lid back on and just wait and let it boil and watch it. And before you know it, the tea will turn into a beautiful pink reddish color. And now we are going to do the same thing with the cinnamon sticks for our cinnamon tea. Get a pot, pour in some water, put in some cinnamon sticks and bring it to a boil until the water changes to a brown color and put these aside for now and now we are going to attempt to make the cigar cookies because when I had a hard time I failed y'all like y'all I failed like I, I straight up gave up I will put freaking saving desserts link below I'm gonna give all the measurements in the description below but like I failed I followed the recipe I mixed everything I mixed the shiz together I put it in the oven and when it was time to roll, I just failed. Like, it did not work. Like, I literally used up 
all of the dough to try and roll it to make the cigar cookies and it, it, no avail. It just did not work. But like I said, I will leave saving desserts link below. Y'all can follow a true queen cause it ain't I. But I actually found actual cigar cookies at my local Japanese market and I was like, booyah! First of all, at the Japanese market, there was like a Gucci version of it. And I was like, this is some bougie shit. This is the tab diavolo like. But homie don't got that kind of money to be flaunting it on ya boy. So I did not. I freaking found like a $3 pack and I kept it pushing. So with your homemade cigar cookies or your store-bought cigar cookies, get ready and you're gonna melt up some chocolate and dunk those freaking sugar cookies in. Coat about half of the cookie in it. Leave some cookie to hold it up, of course. And if you wanna be a little fancy, you can crush some almonds and crush some nuts and just like dunk it onto it. But after you put your melted chocolate on your cigar cookies, put them in the fridge for the chocolate to harden. Now it is time to put it all together. And I found this gorgeous rose teapot set on Amazon. I found it. I, I find everything on Amazon. Link below. Pour your rose tea and your cinnamon tea into the teapot. Get a teacup glass and pour in your tea. And look how beautiful, how aesthetic it looks. Sprinkle some cinnamon on top. Take out your chocolate cigar cookies. Add some sugar cubes and boom, you got Diavolo's Hellfire Cinnamon Rose Tea and Cigar Cookies. Boom! And now for my favorite favorite. Now listen, Simeon is my favorite in terms of like love interest, but like Barbados. If I kinny anyone and obey me, it is Barbados. But I digress. Another hard character I had a hard time on picking a drink for. And then my homegirl Cindy sent me screenshots of one of Barbados's cards. See, and this is why it sucks to be that bad at gotcha. Why do y'all think I will? Cause I freaking have horrible gotcha luck. And in the card, we asked Barbados what tea he would like. And he said he would like sweet milk tea with blue rose petals candied in crystal syrup. So that is what we gon' do. For Barbados' drink, you will need milk, green tea, I used a mint green tea, brown sugar, blue roses, sugar, eggs, and simple syrup. A kitchen brush and some sugary sweets like macarons and meringues and whatever you'd like. First, let's make the roses because this is a day process. You gon' need to prepare for this one ahead of time because we gon' do some science and turn white roses blue. The process is very simple. I will have a video right here showing how to do it and I will link it below, but I will also explain it to you. You are going to get a cup, put in some warm water, and you are going to drop blue food coloring in there. It has to be food coloring. Do not use ink or anything else because then it will not be edible. Make sure it is food coloring. Then you are going to get a white rose and you are going to cut the stem at a 45 degree angle to where it's like really pointy at the end and you are going to drop the rose into the glass. There is a limit to how much it will change color. I don't have the means to do like a full time lapse but I did take footage of after like an hour and after like four hours about half a day and after 24 hours but after like a day and a half it really doesn't change that much after that so like overnight is like good. And now let's get to candying them. You are going to separate one egg white and add one teaspoon of simple syrup Syrup, mix it all up and beat the egg until it gets all foamy. I will also leave a link in the description to a vegan option if you're kind of weary about using the egg whites. I know some people are worried about like salmonella, so if you are, I will have that link in the description for you all so you don't gotta worry. Get your blue roses, pluck your petals, and with a brush you are going to coat the petals in your beaten egg whites or whatever you use the vegan option. And with a spoon you are going to pour the sugar on top until it is evenly coated. And leave it on a rack to dry overnight. And I found another adorable tea set on Amazon. I bought way too many tea sets on Amazon, oh my god. And it like resembled Barbados's teacup, so I had to buy it. Get a pot, brew some green tea with some hot water, and leave it for about two to three minutes for it to brew. Pour half of the cup with your green tea, add your brown sugar or sweetener of your choosing, and add your milk. I couldn't stop my too much jean, and I added matcha powder and black cocoa powder on top, and it like made it not cute, but like I liked it, and I couldn't help myself. Get another plate and add your delectable treats. Add your meringues, your macarons, and lastly, your blue rose petals candied in crystal syrup. And boom, you got Barbados' sweet milk tea with blue rose petals candied in crystal syrup. Very beautiful, very aesthetic. I hope it is something Barbados would be proud of. And that is it for the rest of the Obey Me characters. I hope you all enjoyed all of those drinks for the rest of the boys. And if you're still here and you waited this long, here is some extra drinks. I hope you all enjoy. If you follow me on Instagram, 
Instagram and Twitter, you've already seen that I recreated the Demoness drink from Obey Me. And of course, I'm gonna bring that recipe here for you guys. To recreate Obey Me's Demoness drink, you will need strawberry sparkling water, strawberry daiquiri syrup, white grape juice, mint, a lemon, a strawberry, and some blue and white straws. Now get a glass and pour one cup of strawberry sparkling water, one half cup of white grape juice, two tablespoons of strawberry daiquiri syrup, and for a little pizzazz, I decided to add a little red edible pearl dust just to give the drink a little mystical or shimmer. Get a lemon and cut two slices and cut one strawberry in halves. Now get your glass and put your lemon on the bottom and like use a chopstick or something like a spoon or something to just push it against the glass. Add some ice, then add your strawberry halves. Fill the rest of your glass with your ice and then pour in your mixture. Add a mint leaf on top, add another lemon slice to the rim of the glass and drop in your straw. I decided to cut it a little bit just to match the image a little better and voila, you got Obey Me's Deminus. But feel free to add some tequila or vodka or whatever you'd like in it if you are of age, drink responsibly or enjoy the drink how it is. And last, but certainly not least, to all of my Levi Sims cosplayers and kitties, this one's for you. I give you the Rudy Chan Drink Lego. For this drink, you will need Calpico, cotton candy syrup, strawberries, pink and white chocolate candy melts, edible bows, and a red bean bun, and black and white writing icing. First, we are going to melt the pink chocolate and dunk two strawberries and fully coat the strawberries and then put it in the fridge when we're done to harden. Next, melt the white chocolate and you are going to coat half of the strawberry with the white chocolate just so it can match the ears and then put that in the fridge to harden as well. Next we are going to make Rurichan's cute little sidekick Azukitan and Azukitan is a imagawayaki which is a pancake filled with red bean paste. Also I recommend finding better writing icing for this. The one I got is not good, the freaking black one kept like coming off and like did not work, but I tried my best to draw cute little animu eyes and a cute little animu mouth. I used icing to glue the ribbon on top, and now let's move on to making the drink. Add one to two tablespoons of cotton candy syrup, pour in some Calpico into your glass, add some ice, and fill the rest of your glass with Calpico. I used icing to glue the two edible roses to the side and a pink one in the middle, and put both your chocolate strawberries on top, take out Azukitan, and boom, you have an adorable sweet treat and drink for Rudy Chan. That is it for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for waiting. I know it takes me a really long time to do cafe videos, mostly because I cannot decide for the life of me what to freaking do for each character because I try really hard to like not make the same thing. I don't want them to be boring, but then I want them doable so you guys can recreate them at home. And actually making drinks is really trial and error there. Sometimes I have one idea and then it doesn't work out and I have to scrap it and try to figure out another drink. It is a process, but I appreciate all of you for waiting and being so patient with me. Thank you all so much. Mwah! And y'all know I love watching y'all recreate them. Tag me everywhere. Tag me multiple times if I don't respond right away because sometimes I don't see them. And the next two cafe videos coming up is part three of the Danganronpa V3 cafe series and the Octavinel cafe video. Don't think I forgot about those. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye!